Good morning. It's Thursday the 13th of April. If you want to see all sides of human nature, there's no better place than a hospital. I was reminded of this during my short stay in Airedale after falling and breaking my elbow at the end of February. Then, and in the follow-up clinics, I received nothing but kindness and very skilled help from the staff. In A&E, after the fall, I talked to a young male nurse as he put my arm into a plaster cast. It was at the time of the nurse's strike, so I asked him how he was feeling about it. Well, I could earn more money stacking shelves in Tesco, he said. But I'm not really doing this job for the money. I just love it. And the strike is mostly about our concern that with so many staff vacancies and so many disillusioned doctors and nurses thinking of leaving, we will not be able to sustain a proper and high quality service. I had a conversation with a trainee nurse. She was in her third and final year. What attracted you to nursing? I asked. But she told me that on leaving school she'd worked for seven years in a residential home as a carer. When in spite of low pay and very demanding work, she had loved relating to the residents and working to make them as comfortable and as happy as possible. Then she'd worked for two years in a hospice, caring for end-of-life patients. And now I can see myself as doing nothing other than nursing, she said. While waiting for my x-rays, my eye fell on a poster on the wall. Who do you want to see? it said in very bold type. And underneath there was a row of pictures of people in uniform. A paramedic, a nurse, a doctor, a surgeon, a physiotherapist, and then, surprisingly, a police officer, a magistrate, a judge, and a prison officer. The poster was a plea for people to tra uh, treat the staff thoughtfully and without abuse. But the need for it spoke volumes. On the ward, a 90-year-old man in the bed opposite me told me that two days before, the then occupant of the bed next to mine had renew reduced a nurse to tears. With his angry complaints and abusive language. Yes, you certainly see all sides to human nature in a hospital. We could discuss whether some people are born wicked or have wickedness thrust upon them by circumstances. Honesty might cause us to recognise that no one is all wickedness and no one all goodness. We're all free to choose and even the best of us can make the wrong choices and sometimes give way to our worst feelings. But the bottom line is that we must recognise the sources of true goodness and then stand for it as best as we can. Our central belief as Christians is that the quality of love that we've seen in Jesus Christ is the highest and best goodness of all. And that is what we must strive to live for day by day. Today and every day, whatever our circumstances. Our prayer today was written in the 15th century by Thomas a Kempis. Let us pray. Lord God, set me free from all evil passions, that being inwardly cured and thoroughly cleansed, I may be made fit to love, courageous to suffer, 
and steady to persevere. Nothing is sweeter than love, nothing more courageous, nothing fuller nor better in heaven and earth, because love is born of God. Let me love you more than myself, and in you all that truly love you, as the law of love commands. Amen.